Okay, today we're going to show you a couple different materials to use to tie up a sucker spawn, or in this case, it's more of a salmon egg cluster. The way it's tied and the, the color of it. The material that's in the vise right now is a material from Waspy. It's an egg yarn. Pretty bright in color. It's neon pink, high visibility. Traditionally used to tie the eggs, but you can also use it to tie these sucker spawns or uh, salmon egg clusters. Here's another one, same material. See how nice they come out. And what I'm going to compare it with is here is a wool yarn that I like to use. It's another color. Let me show you what it looks like. It's a little different. And traditionally they uh, would tie a sucker spawn with Angora yarn. That's the traditional sucker spawn. But this actually Ties up a real nice salmon egg cluster. And again, like I said, it's for Erie steelhead fishing or any trout. Trout will eat this. I've uh, caught trout on these before, plenty of them. So we're going to go ahead and start off with another material. We're going to actually tie with a craft store material called craft fluff. And it comes in a big bag. Virtually the same material as the egg yarn. Might be just a little different shade of pink, but it's still it's a neon pink. You get a huge amount in this bag. It says it's two ounces, but it is. Uh, Real cheap. Got it for a dollar eighty, and that's pretty much a lifetime supply there, unless you're doing something production tying. But for me, I don't ever see going through this whole bag in my lifetime. Then again, I uh, I've already tied up uh, several with them. Probably already have a couple dozen. So first, we're going to start off with a hook. A uh, saber, size 12, shrimp caddis pupa, 7051 is the number on it. Get one out here. When you put these in the vise, make sure you don't put too much pressure on your hooks. Just enough. To secure it, too much vice pressure is going to make your hook fragile and you'll end up snapping off the uh, tip area at the bend point, at the bottom bend point. I've heard guys talk about why they can't figure out why their hooks are snapping and that's why you cramp down these uh, hooks in a vice with a monster grip on it, it's going to make your hook fragile. The thread we're going to use is Danville 210. It's a shrimp pink. I believe that's what it's called, shrimp pink or even salmon pink. Go ahead and start your thread on. Tie it back a little bit. Cut it away. Tie it down around the bend of the hook. Now we're going to add a little piece of flash to it. Take a piece of crystal flash, lay it alongside there, give it a wrap, bend it back over, and just tie it on down the bend of the hook there, all the way down to where you left your thread at. Cut it away, you want about a half inch of your tail there, 
Not really a tail, it's just an attractant. A little, little bit of flash to attract your fish. Bring your thread back up to about uh, three quarters of the way back from the hook eye. And now you're going to use a piece of this craft fluff. And what you need to do is just strip it down. What I did, I cut it to lathe. And it's a little too thick. So I'm going to strip it. Divide it right in half. Then I'm going to fold it over. And I'm going to trim the edge to make a nice neat end to tie on. Alright, go ahead and capture your fluff and bring it back. Tie it in nice and nice and neat there. Tie it down. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the first hump. First hump, perk your thread. Again back at the uh, three quarter point back. Pull your, you know, you got two strands together there with a big loop. Pinch it, fold it over. Let's take a look, see what size you got there. Looks pretty good. Give it one wrap. What I like to do from here on this first wrap, just pull it back a little bit. Make sure it's good and tight. I don't want to do three little wraps there. Do the next one, pinch it. Three wraps, and then again, just a repeat process. Pull back a little bit over top of the other one. Pinch it. Pull that one back just a little bit. We're gonna do one more, and the last one. You can uh vary on the size that you make these. You can make the top one up here, the front one a little bigger or smaller, however you want it to look. You're the artist. Okay, there you go. I'm going to cut away this excess. Wrap it in. I'm going to take my whip finish tool. Cut it away. Probably could have fit one more in there, but that's good enough. Take my UV finish. A little bit on the thread on the bottom there. Take a bucket. Go ahead, uh, get your light out and zap it. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and spread out 
your cluster a little bit. How does that look? Looks pretty good. You can separate them. Make it look like you got individual little eggs. I know uh, salmon eggs are uh, Oh, what about eight millimeter beads size six millimeter and there you go this is the craft fluff the uh, yarn using the reason I use that or the color of the thread is it kind of gives it a little dead look on the on your uh, egg air so there you go you got a Salmon eight cluster, and you also got uh, same thing here tied with the uh, that waspy egg yarn. Might be a little more neon with the uh, waspy egg yarn, but that's uh, really close. And there you go. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you can. Uh, See the difference in the uh, two uh, materials I used? Very similar. Tie very similar. Fish very similar. Fished them both and they both uh, absorb water and they ride about the middle of the, uh, the water column there. I uh, always put a little split shot maybe uh, six inches or more up so it drifts real nice. And I also use it in a uh, system where I'm get a little dropper on the bottom put this in the middle then maybe I'll put a hopper up top run a couple uh, a couple blow water one above water and hope you like it if you do like it give me a subscribe give me a like let me know what you think let me know if you've done anything different tied them similar like I said the uh, typical the uh, typical material is just angora yarn or even uh, a wool yarn. This wool yarn is pretty, pretty buggy. All right, go fish them. Here he's uh, getting some water in it. The creeks are the tributaries, just starting to, and that's where I plan on using these at. Thanks. Have a good day and stay safe out there.